I feel like a fake fan because I've only watched the first season of this TV show and was gifted the shirt, but I thought it was perfect for this video, so I'm wearing it. If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be a new edition of If You Like This, Try That, but this time it's going to be If You Like This TV Show, Try This Book. Obviously, it works both ways, but I chose a couple different shows that I have watched at least the first season. I am terrible at finishing any TV shows, but I try to find a couple books that I would recommend and I think that if you like one, you'll like the other. So book recommendation time. The first TV show we're going to be talking about is The Boys, which I have only seen the first season. So my opinion is based on that. But essentially, I don't think it's a spoiler to mention that you're following superheroes who kind of turned out to be super villains. So that's a pretty common theme in the books that I've read, surprisingly, considering I'm not even a fan of superheroes. But I have like four suggestions. So you'll definitely find something that might work for you if you enjoy this TV show. So the first one is the Villains Trilogy by V.E. Schwab. The first book is Vicious, the second one is Vengeful. So in the first book, you're following two friends who met in university and they figured out a way to develop superpowers, but instead of becoming superheroes, they become super villains. And there's also a different timeline. 10 years later, one of them just came out of prison and he's trying to catch the other ex-friend who was basically trying to kill off anyone that has superpowers. So that's basically book one. In the pop's opinion, I think book two is better. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you get more of their background story in book two and you also meet page one Marcella who's my favorite supervillain. She did nothing wrong so I would highly recommend this series. It is meant now to be a trilogy. It was at first published as, as a duology so it reads really fun. You can stop. There's no cliffhanger after book two but I'm definitely looking forward to book three whenever it comes out. So if you like the TV show, you will definitely like this series. If you enjoy young adult books, you have to check out the Reckoner series by Brendan Sanderson. The first book being Still Heart, I'm trying not to blind you, it's very reflective. Uh, I've only read the first book and the first novella between book one and book two, but it is a trilogy. And like I said, it is why sci-fi, you're following characters as a teenager, and I feel like the why definitely is felt at times, especially with the love interest. But similarly, something happens, calamity happens, and so people start developing superpowers and they become kind of supervillains instead. So it, it was interesting. I just had a few issues because YA books from Brendan Center so don't work for me as well as the adult ones, but I feel like if you enjoyed the TV show, you would also enjoy this book. Also special mention to Hench. I thought the plot was interesting. Uh, you found this woman who works for a supervillain basically as a hench, basically like an assistant. Uh, so she's not really part of any of the villainous things, but one day she ends up caught in between a battle of a superhero and supervillain. And that's like her, her origin story as a villain because she realizes the superheroes don't give a crap about her. So that's kind of the plot of the story. I feel like the ending was the weakest part, but it is a debut novel. So I do think it's still worth it if you're really into that plot. And again, that premise with the TV show, so that's another suggestion. And last but not least, I wanted to include a nonfiction because I think it's hilarious. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, it is called How to Become a Supervillain. <laughs> And I listened to it as an audiobook, which I do recommend if you enjoy audiobook. I feel like it. I just went through it faster this way, which is very enjoyable to listen to the author narrating it. And basically the author talks very seriously, but in a humorous stone about all the questions you could want to know about becoming a supervillain. So how much would it cost? So for example, your base, should it be in the air? Should it be underground? What's the most cost effective? That kind of stuff. And it's just really, really funny to answer these questions really seriously and if it's doable. So again, if you are trying to get into nonfiction, I think that if you enjoy the plot of The Boys, you should try this one out. Next, I wanted to recommend some base on Black Mirror because I really love that show. I've watched every episode. There you go, finally. Um, so if you enjoy dark possible future technology, you should check out Exhalation, which is the second short story collection I've read by the author. I've also checked... Um, Story of Real Lives, which is what inspired The Arrival, the movie, so you might know. So would recommend checking out this one because it is about possible futures linked to technology. It isn't as dark as Black Mirror. There's not much that is, to be honest. But if you enjoyed Black Mirror, I think you should definitely check out Exhalation. This short story collection was really interesting. I would also recommend checking out The Test by Sylvain Nevert. It's like a hundred pages-ish novella. Um, you're following someone that is trying to uh, become emigrate to the UK, but in this version of our world, there is a test to be passed to immigrate, and the test isn't quite what you would expect. I do think that this one is closer in terms of like darkness with uh, Black Mirror. So again, a really quick read. I would highly recommend it if you enjoy Black Mirror. I've heard a few other recommendations, but I haven't read them yet. So I'll keep you updated. But if you have any recommendation for any of these TV shows, leave them in the comment section because I'm definitely interested. Let's talk about Killing Eve. Once again, I have only finished the first season. I'm watching the second one and 
I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, you're following an agent who is trying to catch a psychopath killer and um, there's this tension between them, like they become obsessed with each other. So a little bit sapphic, I guess. And I think that if you like this TV show, you should check out this book. This is this is how you lose a time war. So time war between two spy time traveling agent who start leaving each other love letters. And again, sapphic. Uh, it's very, very heavy on the prose though. Like you have to enjoy that. Think Erin Morgenstern, maybe like Madeline Miller. So if that's your jam, you will most likely enjoy this one. Uh, again, fairly short and it's interesting. It's definitely very different from anything else I've read. And I feel like if you like Killing Eve, you would enjoy this and vice versa. Another TV show that I've only watched the first season of, but I really enjoyed is Russian Doll. In the first season, you follow a character who is celebrating her 36th birthday and she keeps dying and like waking up again and again and again. She's stuck in a time loop and she just dies in the weirdest, funniest way. And I've heard season two like later on, but I haven't watched it yet. I will, I will. But if you enjoy someone that relives their day or their life over and over again, I have read a ton of books on that topic. My personal favorite is Replay. I'm gonna put it on the screen because I started bringing all my books upstairs in the future library and I can't find it. <laughs> So in this one, the humor is not the same, but I feel like it's the best book that I've read with that plot of someone reliving their life over and over again. So the first time the main character dies, he's on the phone with his wife and then he wakes up in his 18 year old body and he keeps reliving his life. There's a twist to it, which I don't want to mention because spoiler, uh, but I thought it was really interesting. I feel like his decisions were more realistic than a lot of the other ones that I've read. And uh, I think Again, the twist is really interesting and unique, so would highly recommend this. This is like so underrated on booktube, more people need to check it out, it's fantastic. Let's talk about The Witcher. I have watched the two seasons. I much prefer season one over season two. I feel like a lot of people feel the same, but I feel like if you enjoy The Witcher TV show, you should check out The Shadow of the Gods, which I think they have enough similarities that I feel like if you like one, you'll like the other. This one is based on like Vikings mythology, uh, old gods, giant, I mean, can you see this person there? giant gods, old gods that died off, but the magic system is really, really interesting and I really am intrigued to continue the series. So I feel like if you like one, you'll like the other fight, swords. I don't even know how people survive in this world and I feel like that's similar <laughs> in The Witcher. So they, in my opinion, have enough similarities that you should enjoy a boat. If you have any more recommendations, definitely let me know. Feel free to leave me any other TV shows or movies. I could do a movie selection also in the comment section. I tried to find one for Fleabag because I love Fleabag so so much. Her relationship with her sister is just so funny to me. Uh, but all the ones that I had heard were similar. I read them and I hated them and put them down like an hour into the audiobook or like 10% into the book. I just really hated them. Uh, two that I'm remembering on top of my mind is uh, not working and exciting times. So if you want to try them out, feel free to do so. But I really disagree. I really hated them. And even I was trying to find one for The Good Place because I love The Good Place. The sense of humor is definitely up my alley. But the only thing I could think of that is somewhat similar, it has nothing to do with the sense of humor or even liking the characters and more about the fact that in both cases, the story starts whenever the main character just died and like they're waking up. Um, so I would recommend more than this by Patrickness. This one is a YA sci-fi and it's definitely a strange little book. Not even little, it's like 600 pages, but a strange book. Uh, but I did enjoy it, but that's the only similarities they have is the beginning, so that's it. So once again, if there's any other TV show movie that you would like me to uh, try to find something similar, let me in the comment section if you know anything that would be good if you like one you'll like the other. Definitely let me know also, I'm always looking for more books to add to my never ending TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend checking out, including I did another like this, try that recently. So I would definitely recommend checking that one out and I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye.